It's windy outside. Should we fly our drone? Heck yeah, we should fly our drones. Coming up. And if you're new here, whoop, whoop, I'm Christine, and this is Create with CL, where I give away all of my secrets on what goes behind being a travel creator. And one of my tools is my drone. And in this week's video, I'm sharing with you all of my tips for flying your drone in windy conditions so that you don't lose it in theory and so we can get the best footage possible. So let's dive in. The first thing you need to know is the approximate maximum amount of wind that your drone can take. And the formula for this is around two thirds your drone's maximum speed. So let's use my Mavic Mini 1 as an example. I recommend you go to the specs page of your drone, look at the maximum speed in which your drone can fly. In this case, it's 29 miles per hour for the Mavic Mini 1 and take two thirds of that number. And that's the maximum wind that your drone can take. And again, this is just what the manufacturer is saying, but knowing your limits in the same way that you're headed back to the bar for another drink, knowing your limits is the first place to start. This next step is again, before we even start flying our drone and it's evaluating the wind conditions. And there are a couple ways that I do this. The first one is I look at the weather app and I'm just looking at the wind speed within the weather app. The second way I do it, I'm literally going out there and I'm evaluating it to see how it feels. And the third way is I use apps in the same way that I use Kitty Hawk to evaluate if I'm able to fly safely in that area. Am I allowed to fly? I'm also using it to see what the latest highest wind gusts were in that area. And that's helping me to evaluate what the wind might be like. I'm also looking for things. So an example would be if there are cliffs nearby, you might anticipate some strong and unexpected wind gusts around those cliffs. So if I were to go fly, maybe I wouldn't put my drone right over the cliff right away. There might be something happening there wind wise that might make it fly away. Evaluate your environment and try really hard to launch your drone from somewhere that is more protected by the wind. If you don't have that option, like I did not have that option when I was on a sandbar in Zanzibar up to my thighs in water. In this scenario, I needed to hand launch my drone. And in the same way, I'm not going to spit into the wind. I'm going to make sure I'm not launching my drone with the wind coming into my face. I want to make sure I'm launching it on the other side of me, wind going in the opposite direction, and also launching it above my head so I can safely get my drone into the air. This next tip for flying your drone, keep it close. And this is for a few reasons. First, your drone is compensating for the strong wind. So the battery life is going to be shorter than normal because your drone's working extra hard. So maybe don't fly it super far away just in case you need to save that battery life for making sure it comes back to you safely. The second tip I have for flying your drone is to fly against the wind first. So if the wind is gusting from this direction, fly your drone in that direction first, get your drone out there, go get your shots so that when you have to bring your drone back to you, it can come with the wind and have an easier time getting back versus needing to fight the wind to get to you. So you basically want to let your drone ride the wind and bring it back to you. No problem. My next tip for you is around keeping the drone low. I think about it this way. If the wind where I'm standing is pretty windy, it's probably gusting even harder the higher I go. And so fly your drone as high as you need to so it's not hitting objects and obstacles around you, but not so high that it's going to be taken by the wind. And so keeping your drone as low as you can to get the shots you need. For example, when I was flying my drone while hiking in Hawaii, whew, the winds that day were at least 30 miles per hour. Again, this is over what the manufacturer allows. It was flying just fine, but it was, I could see, it was a little bit shaky in the footage, but I kept it super low and also super close to me.
This next tip is around the speed of your drone. And so I'm recommending as you're taking footage, I'm always using the slowest speeds possible so I can get that cinematic footage. And you don't, you don't wanna make the viewer of your footage feel any kind of motion sickness. But when you're flying your drone to get to the place where you wanna take footage, I'm generally putting it in its fastest speed in sport mode to get it there. And again, when I've launched my drone, I'm going against the wind first. So I'm putting it in that faster speed to fight the wind, get to where I wanna go, flip it back into the slower speeds, get the footage I'm looking for. And then I'm using the wind to my advantage to help ride it back to me when I'm done filming. This next tip for flying is about staying away. And what I mean by that is when you're flying your drone in windy conditions, it might do some unexpected things. So if you like to fly near objects to get some unique shots, maybe this is not the time. Your drone is more likely to do something unexpected so staying away from the trees and other objects in the area in case there's a huge gust of wind is a good idea if you're flying in windy conditions. All right, let's talk about bringing her in and landing your drone. And if you have more tips, add them in the comments below so we can all help each other. Okay, when it comes to landing your drone, the thing to know is land it in the same place you launched it from if you're able to. In other words, land it in a place that's protected from the wind if you're able to. The second thing, if you need to hand catch your drone, make sure you're leaving yourself extra battery time just in case the winds are being weird and you're not able to just bring it in right away. Make sure you're leaving yourself enough battery just in case it takes longer to land your drone. And lastly, make sure you're catching it as you normally would, away from the wind and also above your head, just so there's no gusts of wind and unexpected things happen as you're landing your drone. I know you got your drone in safely and you think you're done, but I got two more tips for you when it comes to editing your footage, because there are a couple things to know. One is around the horizon. And this is something that you should do all the time, but it's something that's a little bit more exaggerated when you're flying your drone in the wind. And generally when you pull your photos and videos into your editing software, for me, I'm just looking at it straight on my iPhone. I'm adjusting the horizon to make sure it's straight and level. When your drone is compensating for that wind, it tends to tilt the horizon a little extra. So make sure you just correct your horizons. And this last one is oftentimes because the wind is pushing your drone around, the propellers might show in the frame of your footage. So making sure you're either cropping that out or just cropping into your image to make sure that the propellers are not in the frame is the last thing to look out for. Whew! Flying your drone in the wind. Don't let that wind stop you from throwing your drone up there. Have the confidence to do it. Tell me in the comments below which tip helped you the most. Add your own tips and make sure you check the description for more helpful info and other things you might not want to miss. I'm Christine. I'm here every week with new videos. I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao.